Greetings! My name is Junie Illustration, but you can call me Junie for short. So, I'm going to be posting this across a few different social media platforms, and you may have noticed that, until recently, my old name was Junior Mint Otter. You might be wondering, huh, your name's now Junie Illustration, what's up with that? So, I've decided to rebrand from JMO to Junie Illustration because I feel like it fits me a lot better now. I came up with Junior Mint Otter when I was like 12 to 13, and I felt like it didn't really fit me as well anymore, and I wanted something that was more... I don't want to say professional, but a little bit more... <laughs> a little bit more grown, if that makes sense. Because I want to pursue a career in the illustration industry someday, I decided that this sounded a lot better and a little bit more adult. So, this piece I'm working on is called Behind the Mask. It's a digital charcoal piece. Basically, I try my best to simulate charcoal in a digital environment. Right now you're watching seven hours of work sped up by 2000%. And that's why this video is so long. Trust me, I try to make it go faster, but when I sped up even further than 2000%, the screen jumped around so much it made me dizzy, so I was like, you know, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. In total, this drawing took 13 hours and 29 minutes, so you're watching a really good chunk of the work completed on this drawing. Quick thing, at the end of this video is a quick time lapse of the entire thing from Procreate's view. Yes, I was using Procreate to draw this, I'll get into that more later. That's one reason I love Procreate so much, because you don't have to download a third-party app to record your screen. It's just really easy and convenient. Wait, one more thing before I go. I am wearing a sock on my hand. Actually, I'm wearing several socks on my hand throughout this set of videos because I couldn't find my artist glove that I'd purchased a few months back and I was tired of my hand resting against the screen and messing up the drawing so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I <laughs> took some socks I couldn't find the pairs to and I cut some holes in it and they worked really well so if you don't want to buy an artist glove, this works just as well. Um, and the funny thing is that after I had finished recording this video, Less than a day later, I found my artist glove, so hopefully I don't lose it again. <laughs> and with that, sit back and enjoy. I'll catch you in a little bit.
Hey, it's me again! So the program I use for this, as I mentioned before, is Procreate, the newest version. And the device I'm drawing on is the iPad Pro, and I'm using my Apple Pencil as a stylus. I can't express how much I love Procreate in the iPad Pro, like, not sponsor or anything, but um, for the past few years I've been using my computer with Photoshop CS6 and a Wacom Intuos and a Wacom Cintiq, and honestly the iPad Pro with Procreate is just so much more convenient. It's a lot less stressful than having to carry around an expensive computer with an expensive tablet. They're constantly worried about getting broken or lost. Especially when I was taking my AP art course in school, not only was it a hassle to lug around, but I was a little bit worried about breaking my, my computer or my Cintiq. The iPad Pro is a lot more portable because you're not carrying around two screens and two devices, and it just really makes life a lot easier. So the brushes I use for this piece are only Procreate's default brushes. I use pretty much every charcoal brush um, that you can find in the charcoal section. And I use the fine tip pen and the HB pencil in white for just details. Um, because I want, it's more towards the end of the drawing, but I really wanted to get like more precise details that I couldn't really achieve with some of the charcoal brushes. Also, I love Procreate smudge brush so much. When I was using Photoshop, I didn't really enjoy the smudge brush. Maybe I wasn't using it correctly, but I never utilized it because it just would make everything look really muddy and not blended well. Um, but Procreate blends it very, very well. And the brushes I used for smudging were the Willow and Vine Charcoal brushes. So, if you hadn't noticed already, the only colors I used, or quote-unquote colors, I used for this drawing were black, grays, and white. Normally, in color drawings, I would never use black and white for doing shading or anything, because, at least in my experience, using black and white for shading and highlighting respectively tends to make your drawing be a lot more flat in 2D, and that's not really what you want to do if you're trying to achieve a, um, a more like 3D or well-rounded look.
right around here I'm just doing detailing on the mask and the mask's attachments and um, I'm just making things look more defined and more clear. I'm just clarifying where the shapes are and where the details on those shapes are. Prior to recording this, I had pretty much already finished blocking in all the major shapes and shadows of this character. So at this point, I just needed to redefine things and make things look more clearer. So if you happen to be curious, my canvas size is at 2880 by 2400 pixels, uh, relative to real life that would be 9.6 by 8 inches. The DPI in this drawing is 300, and at the time of finishing, there are 31 layers in total, but a lot of that was just adjustments towards the end. The bulk of this drawing was all done on one layer, which honestly just drawing on one layer can be kind of nerve-wracking sometimes, especially because when I was starting out in digital art, I got into the habit of always doing different things in different layers. So like, for example, if this drawing was in color um, and the spikes were different from the eyeglasses of the drawing, they'd be on different layers and be shaded completely differently with clipping masks. Honestly, drawing on one layer takes a lot of practice and you just have to be confident in yourself. That's not to say that if you use a lot of layers, you're not confident. That's not, that's not what I'm saying at all. It honestly just depends on your workflow and how you approach digital art. It also depends on what type of drawing you're doing. For digital paintings, I tend to try to stay on one layer, but for um, illustrations, depending on what I'm doing, I tend to use more layers. It, honestly, it's up to personal preference.
So earlier I said that I had only used uh, black, whites, and grays for this drawing, and that's true. So you might be confused by this uh, flash of red right now. So I was trying to add more rim lighting, like really bright white highlights, because I felt like it needed to be brighter. But the problem was that it was so light that I couldn't see what I was adding when I was adding down the color white. So I decided to make a new layer and paint the new highlights in red so I can actually see what I was doing. It helped me a lot. And then after I was done adding the highlights, I turned it back to white. So right here is Procreate's time lapse, which I talked about earlier in the video, and you can see the reference I used. I actually have a mask, a steampunk-like mask, that I got at a, I want to say an arts and wine festival years and years and years ago.
So while this video is wrapping up, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this and tuning in. Uh, especially if you made it this far. If you jumped around the video, that's totally fine too. I get how it is. 23 minutes can be a long time. But I also just want to say thank you for even clicking on this or showing interest in it. I have been making videos for a little while now, but never very consistently, and I'm hoping to change that. And I'm hoping to have a lot more content to upload this upcoming summer and year. So I guess I'm gonna close this off with some typical YouTuber sayings. Hit that bell icon if you uh, love me. No, no, I'm kidding. But seriously, if you are interested in maybe seeing some upcoming content, uh, hit the bell icon if you're on YouTube. Um, if you're on any other social media, I think you can um, enable notifications. Um, but if you're interested, feel free to follow or subscribe or whatever. Honestly, just do what you want to do. But uh, I hope you have a good day and stay cool and safe. Ciao!